Greetings. I just thought I'd uh, give you an update on my uh, motion track uh, program that uh, works with uh, Sonic Pi and produces notes based on position. I've recently added uh, motion activated menus. Now these menus, uh, you control what is on the menus uh, from a menu pick. You have a a selection of all the different synthesizers, for instance, and then you can uh, uh, put the selections that you want into a pick list, and uh, they can be arranged in any order, or as many as, or as few as you want. So that's a recent change. I am mean, planning on uh, making a, a drum menu available that uh, allows you to do like an air air drums uh, session. Uh, the uh, right hand menu is an octaves and there's about a two sec. I put a two second delay in so you don't cycle through uh, the menu picks too quickly. It gives you a little bit of a delay. There we are. Pretty bell. So the motion is, is being triggered by uh, uh, by the XY coordinates and the size of the contour controls the, uh, the the time delay so the bigger the contour the longer the time delay so this was taken upstairs on the upstairs TV and uh, all the sounds are coming through the HDMI port on the uh, TV through uh, Sonic Pi so this is run from uh, a, a secure shell or SSH session, and uh, it uh, it talks to um, Sonic Pi that is running in the desktop. But you don't have to be on the desktop. In this case, I am just for this video. But so some of these sounds are a little bit uh, like uh, I'm you can actually have uh, programming. It's similar to uh, the the uh, Sonic Pi uh, programming interface. So what I did was I pointed it at the TV, and this happens to be Wimbledon. You can hear the snare running there. Anyway, um, that's about it. Uh, still a little bit more work to do, but I thought I'd give you uh, an update. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.